This tech tip will review why starter spacers are utilized, as well as how to measure the starter flange to flywheel so that during any maintenance, the starter is properly mounted and performs as designed. The starting motor is an intermittent use component used exclusively to crank the engine via the flywheel at a significant speed to start the engine. The starting motor at rest must be disengaged and properly positioned far enough from the flywheel so that it does not create an interference when the engine is running and close enough to properly engage when an engine crank is desired. This distance from the starting motor flange mounting surface to the engine flywheel is referred to as the flange to flywheel dimension and is a standard set by engine manufacturers and industry practices. In most cases, the transmission or flywheel housing where the starting motor mounts is designed and machined with the specified flange to flywheel dimension with no additional components or spacers. In some applications, the housing may require the use of an OE-provided spacer that comes with the engine. It is designed to ensure proper clearance between the starter pinion gear and the engine ring gear. During removal of the starter, it is not uncommon for the OE spacer to stick to the old starter. It's always good practice to check if the spacer is attached to the old starter nose housing during removal. It may also be attached to the engine. Secure it for reinstallation. If an OE spacer is currently being used, then you'll need to transfer it with the new replacement starter. This is important because failure to do so will likely result in damage to the starter pinion gear and the engine ring gear teeth. If you are unsure if the engine requires an OE spacer or if it's damaged or lost, we recommend you contact the engine manufacturer for details or measure the flange to flywheel dimension. This dimension is typically 49.3 to 52.3 millimeters from the starting motor mounting surface to the ring gear face. In order to measure this dimension, you must have the starter removed. Make sure the mounting surface is clean and free of debris. Using a depth micrometer, place it flat on the mounting surface of the flywheel housing and measure the distance to the ring gear face. If you have any questions, contact our customer support team at the number on the screen or visit us online.